Hello, hello, everybody, and it is time to get back to Magic. We haven't been back in Magic in a while, and uh, Commander Legend seems like a good place to be. I uh, got this for like $100, believe it or not. Crazy, crazy good deal. Um, there are some huge hits in this set. Uh, Jeweled Lotus is literally the best Commander card I think they've ever printed. Oh, look, Command the Draft. It'll even tell you how to do a Commander Draft. That's kind of cool. All right, let's get straight into it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for subscribing and liking all my videos. Um, I've seen that a lot of you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, Pokemon. I'm trying to get some Magic viewers as well and uh, see where we can get from that. So uh, from now on, I'm, I'm going to still try to rotate a little bit. And uh, we'll see how many views we can get on the Magic as well. So let's just go straight to the uncommons. Kind of look at some of the art as well. Like this dude, he's like literally petting. Oh boy, I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. <laughs> Null collar, pride the perfect. Let me fix this lighting. My hand's getting in the way. We got mask of memory, the protege. The Flesh Sculptor. Now, we get legendary creatures in a lot of these so that we can use them. Sensei's Ring, that's kind of cool. You can actually see the rings glow. The glow ring. Prismatic Piper, and that's it. Did we not get a rare? Where's our rare? Oh, that was the rare. My bad. I got, I got distracted by the Sensei's Ring. Look at that. All right, that's our rare. That's our first rare. We'll do a rare, a foil, and... Uh, uh, miscellaneous pile. So can we get the Jeweled Lotus? And actually, I think you can get uh, full arts of some of the uh, mythics and rares as well. And you're not always just allowed to get one rare. Sometimes you get two in these packs, which is very cool. But uh, everybody's favorite magic way to play is Commander. Siren Storm Chamber. Patreon. Never Lowell's Disc. Everybody likes the disc. And then this dude, he literally looks like he's about to bite you. Bite your head off. Rawr. Oh, sweet. We got the uh, the new, uh, this is the, uh, almost like cold foiling. Uh, they call it etched. But that's pretty sweet. Um, correct the thumbless. I don't know if that's a good hit or not. I don't think it really is. But we'll put him up there in the cool guy pile. So how's everybody doing today? I uh, just got back from uh, work and uh, it's been very, very busy out there. I know that, uh, Command Tower, that's a great comment. Uh, I know that a lot of people are uh, still shopping heavy. They got all that money right now. And my gosh, they're making me tired. They're gonna reshape the earth, I think. <laughs> First Mythic, reshape the earth. We got the Arshin. Oh, cast down foil. That's kind of pretty. I like that. I used to play this a lot when it was in standard. Cast down was a great uh, removal spell in standard. I cannot wait for the actual fall to start. Because it seems like uh, we're right in that little weird spot where it's still too hot to do anything but we all really want it to be about 50 degrees. Victimize, Sphinx of the Second Sun. That's actually a pretty good card. It's an eight drop, but it does the post-combat main phase. You get an additional phase after that. That's just crazy. I mean, literally, you get to do everything twice. It's just pretty good. All right, that's our... That, oh, wow, it's a, a Mythic and two Rares. Wow. Bell Bronca. And the Ominous Trickster, the Fairy Knight, 1-6 with Flash. And then Foil Massacre. So tell me what your guys' favorite magic set is. Um, mine actually, I would say, was uh, Ixalan. Uh, I really enjoyed the dinos in Ixalan. And uh, I made some real fun dino decks. Um, my actual favorite card type is uh dragons there you go noxious dragon very cool um but wow scroll rack that's a good hit 
That's a very nice hit. This is a very playable card. Exile any number of your hand face down and then put that many cards on top of your library. You literally make your hand. Your next like six draws. Just insane. The tracker and the elves. But yeah, I, I really liked the uh, the the art of the uh, different dinos they did. And uh, that really excited me. Oh, I see a full art in the back. I didn't know we could get full arts. Oh, wait. Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've seen a few people pull full arts before. But uh, I was not expecting it, actually. Promise of Tomorrow. Whenever an enchanted creature dies, exile it. That's pretty good. Pretty solid for uh, three mana. Wow, there we go. Jessica the Reborn. Very nice. I think this... This chick does really, really good with uh, the zero mana guy. Man, she is on fire. Literally. <laughs> wow, we're at uh, four Mythics, aren't we? Wow. Seems like a good box. Good box already. Yeah, these are only going for like 100 bucks. I think that uh, that is way, way underpriced. If you guys are into uh, putting down some money to invest... I would say uh, Commander Legends is uh, the, the place to be. Merchant Raiders, Oracle, Blasphemous Act. It's a very good card. Very 13 damage. I mean, come on. That's insane. You got the Familiar, the Dude, and the Moss Diamond. Whoa. Shout out to Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. He doesn't actually know me, but I have literally watched his videos for years, so... It's uh, always exciting to see other people really get enjoyment out of uh, opening cards, you know. Just a nice time to sit down and relax for a minute. Burning Avatar, cast down. We got the Nightshade Harvester. And then we got the bird and the chick and the blade. But actually, I didn't ever notice this. If you can see, there's art in the back of like literally a guy smashing a dragon that is wicked i i never noticed that until now huh that's the thing about magic man you got some art that they really put the time in for i mean they just go ham sandwich on that art and it's very appreciated i mean it's really i don't think there is a three visits wow that's a really good uncommon i don't think there's a uh Magic the Gathering. Jessica's Will. That's like the best rare in the set. Wow. I don't think there's Magic the Gathering without art, honestly. Hens Arkinson. You know what? That dude could use a few donuts. That's what it looks like. <laughs> and then the Corpse Charm and an Elf. Yeah, like I... The art, they... I don't think that Magic would be here without the art. And... It really makes it more exciting to see each new set because the flavor is there, you know? It, it makes you look forward to it. Like, look at these goblins. They're literally raiding a chest. They're like, I'm gonna just take all your stuff, dude. All your stuff. Supreme Will, Leaker Stone, and Shamasher's Will. Now that is a creepy dude. Creepy dude. <laughs> Messing up my camera looking at the creepy dude. And second second rare in that pack. And then we got a Pilgrim's Eye Foil. Well, so far, we're not doing too bad, I don't think. This is going to be a little longer video, guys. I, I've been making a lot of shorts lately. And I appreciate the uh, extra views on them. But, you know, you don't get as much time to really talk and, uh, and hear from me. And I think that needs to be part of the channel as well. You know, we want to we wanna have a community where... Eventually, I want to have it where you guys can talk back and, and let me know what's going on. I've got uh, 137 subscribers as of right now. And uh, Rejuvenated String is actually a really good, really good pull. And uh, we're really going to push hard. Foil Quarter Bounty, that's actually really good too. Uh, we're going to push really hard to, to make good content for you guys and build a community. Uh, I just started a Patreon if you wanted to check it out. I'll send you guys out a postcard if you join. Um, I'll send you a signed card of your choice of what type 
of card. You know, it could be Magic, could be Yu-Gi-Oh, could be, uh, I mean, anything. It, it could be uh, Pokemon or Dragon Ball Super, whatever you want, you know. And uh, then I'll also uh, get a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys to talk about, you know, maybe how you got into things and how how you really enjoyed things as a child or, or even now in your adulthood that, you know, it, it takes away from the everyday just mess that sometimes life can be. Plague Reaver, that's very cool. Very, very cool. And, and you know, I'll get feedback from you guys and it'll be really nice. So if you'd like to check it out, I do have a Patreon now available. I'll link it in this video as well as it's linked in a few other videos. Uh, we started a Twitter page. Um, I plan on working on an Instagram page as well. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna grow our community here, you know? Scholar of the Ages, Return to Dust, Thought Vessel, Port Razor. There you go, another mythic. I don't know that this dude's that great, but when he deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature you control, and you get another combat phase, that seems dangerous. It does. That actually might be good in my dragon deck. I play the Ur Dragon in Commander, believe it or not. Okabeka Brute Good Dragon. Okay. Let's act like that didn't happen. Let's act like that didn't happen. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Um, I am going to do a giveaway at 500 uh, subscribers of 500 products or $500 uh, worth of TCG products. Uh, our first winner was Yu-Gi-Oh 2021 and he should have his product on the way right now. So uh, he should have a very, very nice box and uh, hopefully, wow, foil command beacon boys. That is sweet, sweet. And for your guys' chance to win, you gotta comment down below, happy 500. And when we do hit 500 uh, subscribers, that's how you're going to enter in to win. You have to be subscribed and uh, type in happy 500. And uh, literally, you just go in and uh, be randomized from the Google uh, who wins. Golem Artisan, Marauders, Feast, Magistrate. Look, she's, she's really thinking. She's like, do I want to take you on a date? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that happened to me a lot. And then the cat's like, well, I don't like you either. <laughs> wow, check out that art. Phyrexian Ranger. That dude is sick. That art is really cool. Although there are print lines on this card. Like, this card is damaged. Come on, wizards. Let's... I don't know if you can see it, but there is literally a print line going through him. Come on, wizards. Let's, let's uh, step it up, okay? Step it up. New products. You guys have been uh, really loathing behind on us here. All right, I'll pick it up a little bit. Straight back to the goodies. Thirst for Knowledge, the Hydron, the Judge, a Crumb's Will. Actually, I think this is a really good card, too. Um, seen a lot of play. And then the Bunny Dude. Oh, cool. We got the cat in the uh, etched foil as well. I'm going to probably try to get a collection of the etched foils. I actually do like them, believe it or not. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. They're not as cool as the uh, old school art foils, like where it's just foil, but they uh, they have the old school uh, frame, the retro frame. Those are cooler. But Magus of the Order, you got Keen Eyed, Dude, and Beast. Yeah, so those, those are cooler, but I definitely do like the Edge. I think that there could be a market for them later down because, you know, certain things like MetaZoo's doing a... Uh, a cold foil and flesh and blood does a cold foil just a lot of the newer sets they're like kind of going towards that they just need to work on how bright the etching is i think it's just overly bright sunset pyramid strength of the pack wow look at that dude he's like i just took down this bear cat demon chick and she's gonna hunt you down and dude that looks like he's from Halo. That literally looks like the dude from Halo. <laughs> you know, the uh, swarm or what do they call them? The infected or whatever. Like when the humans got taken over by the alien things. Those just crazy looking things. 
You know what? Halo back in the day used to be some of the best. Interpret signs, make a stand, the sub brute, wrong turn. I'll tell you what, I see that guy when I turn around the bookshelf. That's definitely the wrong turn. Definitely the wrong turn. Goblin, gore, sailor of some stuff. And that's it. Got about four packs left, guys. Uh, doesn't seem like the greatest box in the world. Those aren't really the mythics you want to hit. Um, I'm hoping we get one more hit in here. Be really nice if Jeweled Lotus would really make this box a uh, good, good box. Warden, Arcane Signet. This card's going to be five bucks forever. It's going to be like the new Soul Ring. I mean, seriously, it'll go on the rare, rare pile. Court the Cunning. The Last View. An Azure Fleet Admiral. The Last View. It's like the old uh, tree on. Uh, Digimon that tried to talk uh, um, Gabumon's dude into turning on his friends and all that. Kind of crazy. Fencing Ace, Val Wildness, Volcanic Turret. Got the Armored Sky Hunter, the Tide, the Plunder, and the Dragon Mantle. That actually looks cool. Like, literally, her head is literally just floating. I, I am I have a floating head. Floating. That's still Dater. <laughs> still Dater. Oh, we got a card stack going over here. Woo! The cards have fallen. The cards have fallen. That's why uh, we don't like the commons. The cards just go everywhere. Nobody needs the commons. Nobody. Plus it's a foil common. Some of the some of the foil commons are cool. I'm not going against you guys that play Popper. I'm sorry. I just know you guys all did like the the like runaway about the chitter fang, which I understand. Necrotic hex, the familiar, the dude, and the piper. I need to like sign these pipers and send them out to people. I don't know why, but it seems like those are like sought after as signature cards ah. at least I, I had a couple people ask for hey you want to sign a, pi a piper I'm like okay if that's what you want i mean sure we'll do it all right last pack magic can we get something good horizon scholar the engine we're gonna slaughter the strong we got a captain and we got beautiful sarah and then we got grin the Weaver and a Meteoric Mace. All right, here's our hits for this box, guys. Um, could have been a better box, I'll be honest. But for 100 bucks, this really isn't bad. You got Port Razor, very good. Jessica is a full art. That's very good. Skull Rack's our biggest hit. This card is probably still 20, 30 bucks. It, it was a really good card. Sphinx of the Second Sun's not bad, and then Reshape. And then we got our uh, nice foil etchings. So thanks again, and uh, like and subscribe for more content. We'll be doing a uh, Pokemon video. I'll just pan it up. We got Pokemon uh, Elite Trainer Box coming up. We got a Flesh and Blood uh, Arcane Rising, I think. Uh, no, that's Welcome to Wrath. There you go. Welcome to Wrath coming up, too. So that'll be fun. And I got to finish doing that as my background. I'm actually painting that for everybody. So uh, thanks for... Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, we'll see you later.